Hi guys, Melissa here, and today I want to give a shout out to one of our Learn to Groom Dogs.com training partners, and that is Kendra Otto. And Kendra Otto has been one of our training partners for quite a while now. And when I first approached Kendra and asked her to be one of our educators on the streaming video library, I asked her, what did she want to film? What did she want to share? What did she feel confident with? And what she said was rustic coated breeds. No one knew how to deal with a rustic coat at that time. And that was a very new coat type that we were just starting to see at the time that Kendra was really working with rustic coated breeds. And the two that really come to mind and that we have filmed with Kendra is both the Pumi and the Legato. Um, and when she first approached us and she said she wanted to do a legato, I didn't know what it was, but I didn't want to let on to Kendra. I didn't know what it was. So I just said, okay, that would be great. And I quickly ran to the computer because at the time the legato wasn't even in the AKC book. It was just being introduced. It might've been in the miscellaneous class at that time where it still might have been in the foundation stock area coming up and, and looking at uh, being accepted into the AKC. But at any rate, I went home, did my research, found out what a rustic coated breed was, found out what a legato was, and we ended up filming with Kendra. And so I didn't know anything about that coat type at all. And some of you may not have had the opportunity even to see them, or maybe you've seen them at dog shows but haven't really gotten your hands on them, and luckily I have. But this is the uh, 22nd edition of the American Kennel Club um, uh, Complete Dog Book. And there's, sorry, we're getting a little bit of a, there we go, there's the Legato. And so just really a no-nonsense kind of a, a breed. Um, as far as look, it's a medium sized breed with what they call a rustic coat. And then this one is the Pumi. And the Pumi is a very um, whimsical looking little dog, goofy. They've got a little different um, ear set. They have a wedged shape head. Um, and their ears are semi erect. And the way that you end up doing them is it's almost like a bedlington ear, but where the bedlington ear is going to be down, the pumi ear is going to be semi-erect, and so it really lends to this whimsical type expression that they have. But until I met Kendra, I didn't know anything about either one of these breeds, and that rustic coat is really different. Um, and the other thing with a rustic coated breed is they are not to be blown out where normally when you're looking at your scissor type breeds, the Bichons, the Poodles, you want them blown out straight, straight, straight so that you can get that really plush finish on your scissor work. But with the rustic coated breeds, that's not the case at all. You want that coat curly. You don't, you want it to look almost messy. Um, perfection is not what you're looking for when you're grooming those breeds. And again, until I met Kendra and actually filmed um, for Learn to Groom Dogs with Kendra, I just didn't know what these breeds were at all. So it was really interesting to learn about these newer breeds. Um, these Both of these breeds are now in fully in the American Kennel Club. The Legato is in the sporting group and the Pumi is in the herding group. Um, and they both had very different jobs uh, and very ancient breeds. But um, caring for their coats is definitely different. And one of the things that I learned from Kendra was that you really want to use a wide toothed undercoat type rake. And that because they definitely have an undercoat um, and they're, they have coat that actually it's not considered coat, it's considered hair. Um, and both breeds are considered somewhat non-shedding. And so for um, folks that have allergies, many times this is a breed that they can tolerate pretty well. But um, you've really got to get in there. You have got to keep them 
combed out, but you don't want to remove all of the undercoat. So the, that wide tooth type comb really does a nice job to get in there and uh, get the, the snarls removed, the mats removed. But then when you go to dry them, they need to be air dried because you need that coat really curly. So the biggest thing with the rustic coated breeds is you don't go for perfection. So that's kind of nice. But if you want to take a look at um, or learn more about how to groom the rustic coated breeds, definitely check out Kendra on learntogroomdogs.com. She's got a couple great videos um, on dealing with the rustic coat and rustic coat care. Plus she's got videos on the Legato and also on the Pumi. And I want to say with the Pumi, we have a show uh, Pumi and also how to work with a pet Pumi and how to maintain that coat and how to give the client a haircut that is going to accentuate the breed profile of the dog but be manageable for that dog um, to live in a pet home as well. So definitely check them out and it is the rustic coated breeds, the Legato and the Pumi.